Face of Change. I'm Dr. Irina Kohls. The program is supported by Bazaar Supermarkets in Massachusetts. We are in spring and uh, April is uh, months of two big holidays, Passover and Easter. And this year they follow the same week even. So today let's make nice and easy dessert, macaroons. I think we never made macaroons in my program. Since uh, for Passover um, meals, we can't, people cannot use uh, the flour, which is leavened to be, are going to use almond flour, coconut flakes, eggs, and sweetener. This is it. And actually, these are all good ingredients for us because we are using them all the time anyway, and we avoid white flour. Well, this bowl is for dry ingredients. And you'll see how actually easy this recipe. So what we need, half cup of almond flour. Please do not mess up <laughs> between almond flour and almond meal. They're both good, they're excellent. But for some recipes, you need to use flour and for other ones, meal. So it, is, it makes a difference. So we need half cup. It goes here and we need one and three fourths cup of coconut flakes. So we'll do, definitely we use unsweetened coconut flakes and choose the small ones because sometimes you can see the bigger shredded in bigger pieces which is good for other purposes but not for macarons. So half, one and three thirds to be precise. Three thirds, so three like this. One, two, you see, for other meals, it is not maybe so important when you cook salad or entry, but for desserts, we need to keep the measures very precisely. Yes. Almond flour has glycemic index 20-25, which is very low. Coconut has sweetener, like it's sweet by itself. That's why we are not adding any sweetener here. Eggs. So this is ready. <coughs> Eggs. We need only whites for this recipe. So we take yolks out and leave whites only. Four. Don't throw away yolks, you can make omelet out of them or something else. They are very good. We have four whites here. I'm going to beat them on high speed to get the very stable, stable texture. And I'll show you what consistency should reach. I usually the big, uh, not usually, I am the big fan of fructose, a natural sweetener. But you know what, nowadays it disappeared from <laughs> the stores and the internet. So I'm using Eritritol now. This is very modern and good sweetener. It actually doesn't have any glycemic index at all, which is beneficial for us. And it has a texture like sugar. 
The only thing, it is not as sweet as sugar and as fructose. Fructose is sweeter than sugar. That's why I always like it. Uh, and uh, the uh, erythritol is less sweet, so we need maybe a little bit more. I'll put it ready because I need to add it during the beating. This is it, so we're going to beat it. It was beaten without sweetener yet. And you see, it is pretty thick already. At this point, we'll start adding sweetener, continuing beating. <laughs> This is the stage when we can stop beating the yolks. You see, you can actually turn it and it is not falling out. So it should be strong. Little by little, we are going to add whites to the dry texture. This should be done very accurately because we don't want to ruin white's fluffiest because it is fluffy full of air and we want to keep it in our cookies So we add these fluffy whites little by little, so not, not all at once. You see this way Passover for people who keep traditions is, uh, is not a problem at all for those who keep low glycemic lifestyle because Desserts can be done without flour, without these grains which need the fermentation. So it is uh, wheat, rye, barley, nothing. We'll use almond flour, coconut flakes, and you know that we have many other wonderful desserts and recipes for desserts. You can check bunnies. There are on the website vedestiny.com there is a good recipe of uh, Easter bunnies covered it with chocolate. So very lovely for adults and kids. Healthy, funny. We're getting closer and closer to our final texture we want to get. It looks very nice, yellowish. Very good looking macaroons. Well, we are almost done. There is some whites here, so we'll add them all. At the beginning, it looks like the dry mixtures like too, too much of dry beer but no you see it's all incorporated 
very well. I need to get it from the inside so we are not losing this macaroons, number of macaroons. Nice. Mixing takes more time <laughs> than the entire recipe. We got the dough. Now, I usually use this device for ice cream or for fruits. Very convenient and quick. So, grab the piece and place it on the baking sheet. I covered it with the aluminum paper and brushed with the olive oil. Baking paper works. Wonderful too. I need to make it to shape it better. Hold, this is pretty like decent amount of uh, macarons. Now they are going to preheat it to 325 degrees oven for about 25 minutes until they are yellow goldish. Look how beautiful and cute these macaroons look. The smell is amazing. The coconut and almond, amazing. Now let them cool a little bit and then transfer them to the beautiful dish. Look, this organized plate with macarons, with almond flour and unsweetened coconut flakes. Wonderful, low glycemic dessert, wonderful for Easter, for Passover and for every day actually. You can find the video at uh, actontv.org and more holiday recipes, more cookies, more desserts at weightdestiny.com. Have wonderful, happy Easter, happy Passover, Haksameach, wonderful. Be healthy and 